Bhagavad Gita, text 2.52 to 2.53. When your intelligence emerges from the thicket of delusion, you shall become disgusted with all that has been heard and all that is to be heard. Thereafter, when your intellect is fixed and not perplexed by scriptural injunctions, you shall attain Yoga Samadhi. In Bhagavad Sandarbha 82, Jiva Goswami cites verse 52 as an explanation of the word Nirkranta, beyond scripture, found in the famous Atmarama verse of the Srimad Bhagavatam 1.7.10. This Bhagavata verse describes why the liberated Shukadeva was attracted to serve Krishna in a post-liberated status, why he studied the Bhagavata even though he was beyond scripture. The Bhagavata explains that such is the nature of the qualities of Hari. It is Hari's Krishna's qualities and Leela's that the Bhagavata is centered on. Their nature is such that liberated souls become attracted to them and thus to the study and more the relish of Srimad Bhagavatam. Relative to the flow of the Gita, Krishna speaks of not being perplexed by the Vedic doctrine of fruitive work, Karmakanda. He stresses that fixing one's intelligence in spiritual pursuit will only come about when one is no longer bewildered by this doctrine, thinking it to be the sum and substance of the Vedic advocacy. Only by such fixed intelligence can one realize yoga. Having heard about that abode that lies beyond religious life, the spirit of the scripture that underlies the scripture's words, Arjuna thoughtfully inquired about those in this world who have attained that destination. Herein, Arjuna asks, a fourfold question to which Krishna replies by describing overtly those in knowledge and covertly his devotees. <laughs>